Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I would start just creating videos because basically last week I got to sit down and watch back videos that I put on my YouTube that aren't on public, they're just like for me as memories with Freddie, with family, with milestones and just loads of different things that have been going on in life and I thought I don't remember though like you don't remember those day-to-day -day things and they are actually fantastic memories so I thought why not just start filming throughout the week and upload maybe one video a week it may be super boring for you but for me I want to do it just to kind of document life and journey and take you with me to explore and experience life I suppose so I thought yeah welcome back guys I don't know what my arms do look like that TikTok. but anyway today is a really fun day as you can see behind me um it's just a really colorful setup that I did so this tutorial will be on the academy um next week but this setup I wanted to do purely because I wanted the, to bring the new year in with color with good intentions with bright cheerful vibes so that's why I created this and then behind me <laughs> oh exposing myself <laughs> and, and behind me I've got this jungle setup um that we did about three days ago now but um today we have a amazing videographer called Ted he is coming over to help me film some content so um it's going to be really fun to catch up with him and also um his background um not background as in like career but background as in like um you know life I suppose I hope you don't mind me saying this um Ted if you're watching this I hope you don't mind um is actually in farming so I'm going to get some really good advice from him today because just putting it out there to the universe, me and George actually want to open a farm and, I don't know, experience that and really like live in the, in that kind of, yeah, yeah, you guys get the gist. So that is what I am going to be talking to him about today as well um, because I just want to experience and live what we want from life i'm really rambling on now but i think it's really important to just do what you love and figure out a way to do that so learning and knowledge is key obviously first and that is what we intend to do but it's one of george's um absolute dreams to like have a farm live within nature and animals and mine as well i love being within nature it's where i get all of my creative um best like inspiration when i'm out in nature so to live in it would be incredible that's the plan i'll stop rambling ted will be here in a minute i'm going to order a starbucks because i'm number one starving because i had to rush out the house this morning because the studio is a dive um but yeah come with me this week just to experience and explore with me and i really hope you enjoy this video <laughs> I can <help. Yeah. laughs> so hi guys welcome back to my channel Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am um, uh, Ted. We're very excited to be working today with the amazing Catherine from Dress Your Daydream. It is always a pleasure and I'm stunned by her designs every day. Thanks. <laughs> with number one supporter. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have a um, videographer live in his habitat. His natural habitat. <laughs> his natural habitat. Doing what he does best capturing all the gaps in my blue wall. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a wildlife video. <laughs> we should have kept the snake. <laughs> Hi, so we've had the best day today filming with Catherine from Dress Your Daydream. We have literally got so much goodness coming from this talented man over here. <laughs> Thank you. I'll drop his Instagram below, guys. Go and follow him. Bye. Bye. Good morning guys, we are now on Monday. The last time that we spoke was on Saturday when Ted came and filmed the advert for me and we had so much fun and it was just such a good day. So now I've come into the studio to prep for um, Valentine's setups and I'm just gonna blow up some balloons and just have a little bit of a day because guys, you know me, right? I would like to think of myself as a happy, like, positive 
person, which I am 99% of the time. Like, I like to think that, you know, I am, like, trying to stay positive. But, t like, today, I can't, I can't, I feel like I can't shake this feeling um, of, like, I feel, like, heavy today. And I'm not coming here to depress you guys. I'm just coming here to, to be honest, just talk to myself <laughs> and give myself a little telling off for feeling like this. But, I... And if anybody else is feeling like this, especially in this industry, especially if um, you work alone or if you are just starting out or if something's gone wrong or something's happened and you like can't shake the feeling. And one thing that I'm really working on this year and I've been journaling about it and I've been um, really focusing on is not taking things personally and falling into a pattern of like an old pattern of, you know, there's a comment made or someone said something or something's happened or something's gone wrong and then I feel like I take that really personally and then, like, for days I'm like, oh, like, I am just take everything personally and it's something that I really want to work on, <laughs> to be honest. So I am going to stop from this moment guys you've heard it here first i'm gonna stop feeling like this i'm gonna project nothing but goodness and protect my aura from anything negative and deal with it in a completely different way so i'm gonna put on something that makes me happy whilst i'm blowing up my balloons i'm gonna do nothing but good affirmations during this time and just I'm going to just continue to talk because that is so important is just continuing to talk when if you're feeling happy if you're feeling sad if you're feeling angry no matter what you're feeling you need to talk about it even if it's to yourself in the mirror or into a camera lens like I'm doing now <laughs> because it really really does help and it helps you process things and it makes you um kind of put things into perspective as well and the answer to probably what I've been going through the past couple of days is you can never please everybody whether that be friends whether that be family whether that be work or clients or whoever you can physically not you can't you literally cannot please everybody um, no matter what you want to do no matter how much you try there's always going to be something or someone or a situation that you can't help like that is life and I've got to accept that uh, and it's hard because you do want you do like naturally as people as humans we want everybody to be happy and we want to be able to solve all the world's problems do you know what I mean but it's never gonna happen and I need to just realize that all you could do is your best and all you can provide is your best and in doing that balance it so you are not wearing yourself down to burn out which I'm going to avoid at all costs because it's not good we talk about it on the podcast how much burnout affects you and I'm just not letting that happen physically emotionally mentally we're not letting it happen so today I'm just gonna blow up some blues like I said and yeah thanks for for speaking to me guys because <laughs> thanks for listening thanks for listening to what was on my mind this morning um yeah I don't mean to to have this as a depressing clip <laughs> but I want to be honest and you guys know me and I don't want it to be a thing that makes sense so yeah i hope you guys um have the best day today whatever you're doing wherever you are and whenever you were watching this and i can't wait to show you guys what i'm up to later i'm gonna go and do like a really good healthy food shop fill myself with goodness fill myself with happiness and i will see you guys later good morning everybody i I feel refreshed, I feel re-energised, I feel back to normal me today. I've had a talk with myself, guys, and just come to the conclusion... By the way, you'll have to excuse the state of me because I've just got back from the gym. Well, I've just gone to the gym, basically, can you believe it? Um, and come to the studio because I've got a live in 15 minutes on the Academy page. But I just wanted to... Let me put you down for this chat. I feel like this needs to be a, a sit-down convo. 
let me tilt you up. So, guys, I've come to the conclusion that, quite frankly, I'm, my self-care is like zero. Like, I don't do anything. It's always like everything else comes first. Like, responsibility. I know that sounds stupid because I'm an adult, right? But, like, responsibilities come first. And I've never really had the time for me on a daily basis like when I when I have an hour to myself I feel like that's a treat so I'm prioritizing it now self-care this year guys self-care so this morning I did a um spin class and a Pilates class and I've remembered how much I actually love doing it like the lights were off and like just so many breathing exercises I've brought myself a hot chocolate just doing everything that like provides happiness and I think that's like paramount in life and I've neglected that for so long that I was wearing myself down and I was getting down and I had no kind of outlet or release for any of those like suppressed feelings so I'm making sure that I am you know giving myself that time and giving myself the opportunity to have some just me time basically so long ramble over i left the studio really early yesterday because i just was not in a good mindset so i took myself away from the situation and guys this is what i would advise you to do like with balloons especially if your head is not in the right headspace you're not going to have anything creative to show for so make sure that you're taking the step back and the time to like recharge and re-energize yourself because it helps so much and you should not feel guilty about it and um, so the plan for today is resume from yesterday right i'm a day behind but i'm not going to let it stress me out i'm going to paint my backdrops i'm going to blow up some balloons and um, and then hopefully I will be back at home for about half two and I'm just going to take Freddie on a massive adventure through the woods. There's this like um, secret garden in a park near to us and I used to go there growing up all the time and it's just so, it's just such a nice place. So I'm going to take him there this afternoon, I'm going to go and do my live with the academy girls and boys now and we're going to talk about all, all about business and like what you should do to start it up and just give all of my advice for starting out so i'm gonna go and do that thanks for listening to me yesterday guys i really needed it <laughs> but for the rest of the week now happiness is a priority happy happy vibes only so i hope you guys have a great day i am is this a sign is this an actual sign something has just fell Right, I've literally just come in right and something has just fell down. Thank you, universe. <laughs> right, guys, I will be back in a minute. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday and I am shooting two videos today. One using this beautiful flower wall from the Midlands Flower Wall Company. And honestly, the quality, guys, have a look at this. How stunning is that? I'm sorry. Imagine if this is a permanent feature, I'd love that. So I'm going to do a Valentine's setup with this backdrop and then I'm going to do a Valentine's garland video um, just behind it as well. So I'm so out of breath. Honestly, oh my god, I've never been so unhealthy my whole entire life. I'm not even joking, look at the state of this room, I can't even. So my plan is to bash out two videos today so that I can have a whole week off next week because I'm having my hair done tomorrow my birthday next week and I just want some time to kind of experience and you know just enjoy um life rather than even though I you know my job is my life and my love but you know you gal need some time as well to just chill out so that is the plan but yeah today I'm just going to get all this done I think it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous setup and yeah we've also been talking about um spring fair let me put you down because Honestly, my arm is going to fall off. So, okay, so. <laughs> um, basically, we've been talking about Spring Fair. So, Spring Fair, for all, your, all you bloonies out there, is essentially, um, like, at the NEC, this place in Birmingham, it's, like, the biggest balloon show ever. All the big brands are there, and Calisan has very kindly and I'm so grateful and um, asked me to go and set up for them and um, just be around there which is 
madness so if you are going to the spring fair make sure you come and visit the Callisan stand because I'm going to be there I'd love to have a chat with all of you guys we can have a wonder round together see what's going on talk about creations so I think that would be so incredible and um, so let me know guys comment below if you're going to spring fair this year in Birmingham and um, it's the first week of February I think it's the 6th 7th and 8th I'm sure um out of breath i'm on the third floor where I, and i walked up the stairs today can we believe it i've been going to the gym every single day i'm really trying hard to you know mind body and soul happiness at the moment after a beginning rough beginning of my week this like now i'm feeling good i'm feeling recharged re-energized um and so oh yeah i am just going to be filming today and um, having catches up, catches up, <laughs> catching up with the team because we've got lots going on. We've actually released our VIP course. I don't know if I've mentioned that pre in like previous clips, but our VIP course, I can't talk. Oh my God. <sighs> right, Catherine, start again. Our VIP course is actually, look, I'm fully exposing myself, um, is the first course that i've actually released which is in person and online and i'm so excited for it it's going to be insane i'm bringing in everything we've got like food platters goodie bags photographers videographers amazing artists like we are literally gonna go in for three days in a row 15 artists from all over the uk i'm so grateful and i'm so excited but i'm also very 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 nervous so we'll see what it brings but it's given me so much ideas for the summer too so i'm so excited i'm so excited guys anyway i need to get on with um filming because i haven't this week at all <laughs> so i'll see you guys in a bit guys i'm back right but i'm gonna die of embarrassment because today uh, I put my hair in roll, like just my, my front bit in rollers while I put my makeup on and it was dark obviously, it was 6am and I've come to work and I don't know if you guys can see this fantastic bit of foundation in my hair, you know, <laughs> I was just filming a video and I was like, oh god I don't know where you went then, I was just filming a video then and I was like, what is that orange patch in my hair, so I've looked in the mirror and it is actually, watch the split ends as well, guys. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, okay? Um, but yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm the worst excuse for a girl on the whole entire planet. Um, for you guys who was asking as well what camera I use to film for my videos, I just use this Canon um, camera. I am no tech expert at all, guys. I'm not going to lie. I don't have a clue. Um, as you can tell by my awful filming as well, I wing it the whole time. This camera um, that I use to film my tutorials is not the best camera for tutorials at all. Um, so I'm looking at getting another camera just to do that with, um, just to make it a lot easier because I don't want to merge the two. Because I know what I'm like, I'll lose clips, I'll forget that I had something. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just update you on the orange streak in my hair if you was wondering what it was in my last seriously seriously guys i just can't even i need a holiday oh i've got holidays booked as well that's why i'm trying to be good hence the gym um so yeah anyway i'm gonna film peace out guys see you in a bit <laughs> What we have just created together, guys. I don't know if you can see that properly. But yeah, I had so much fun creating this one. I've learned so much creating this one, to be honest. Um, but it's really sad that now I'm going to have to take it down because the flower wall is actually coming to be collected. So I'm going to keep all these balloons and I'm going to... Um, yeah, reuse them. I'm going to create another video now using the same balloons and I might add an extra colour in or some orbs or something just to like change it up a little bit. 
Um, but I might just do like a standard garland video. Yeah, I feel like doing that. <laughs> Room was a mess before. It certainly is now. <laughs> so I just want to quickly show you guys um, what I've just been up to. So I've just, the sequin, the sequin wall, the flower wall's just gone. Um, and I've made this cute little seating area with a garland. And I thought it was really cute. So um, the blooms that I've used here are Tough Tex Cameo, um, Sempertex Rosewood, and the five inch blooms are um, Calisan Flamingo Pink, because I thought it just brings out a little bit of rosiness. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. Um, but yeah, I am gonna wrap up this video here, um, purely because I will not be coming to work tomorrow. I am just excited to have some time to chill out to be honest and just do loads of fred and you know obviously have a good old drink for me b day which is on wednesday which i'm really excited about so what i will be doing is bringing you along with me whatever we get up to because as i said at the beginning of this video i just want to film everything and explore and just take my camera everywhere i go so that's what I'll be doing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what you're going to be watching. I don't know <laughs> what clips I've actually filmed because it's all been a bit of a blurry week this week. It's had highs. It's had some lows, like real lows, but we power through them and we realise that everything is only temporary. And I'm so grateful to be able to talk to you guys and just get it all off my chest because that's what we need to do and I will see you in the next video.